Hello, we are going to continue our lesson today with chapter 3, sequence and series with subtopic 3.1b. After this lesson, students should be able to write the end terms of aromatic sequence and use the formula for the sum of aromatic sequence. First of all, aromatic sequence. An aromatic sequence with the first term A and the common difference D can be written in the form of A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, and so on. Given the first term is A, second terms is A plus D, third terms A plus 2D, and the third term, the fourth term is A plus 3D. By using this example, we can derive the n terms of aromatic sequence. T1 is equals to A plus 0D, which is equals to A plus 1 minus 1D. Second terms is A plus 1D, A plus D. So it is equals to a plus 2 minus 1D. Follow the same pattern above. The third term is A plus 2D. So which is equals to A plus 3 minus 1D. And the fourth term is A plus 3D which is equals to A plus 4 minus 1D. In general, we have Tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 d. So this is our aromatic sequence, the n terms of aromatic sequence. So we need to know this formula. Then the n terms is a plus n minus 1 d. a here is the first term. d is a common different. How to get the common different? The common difference can get from T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2, and so on. So, in general, the common difference can be defined as D is equal to Tn minus Tn minus 1. Noted here, D must be a constant. Now, proceed to example given before. Find the n term of sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. As we can see here, every number here increase by 3. So this is aromatic sequence. With A, the first term is 4. And the common difference is T2 minus T1, which is equals to 7 minus 4, which is equals to 3. And what is our Tn? Tn is equals to A plus n minus 1d. The formula for Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d. What is our a? a is equal to 4, the first term. And what is our d? It is equal to 3. Simplifying these terms, we have 4 plus 3n minus 3. So the term is 3n 4 minus 3 is equals to 1. So the n terms of this sequence is 
3n plus 1. For example 2, I will give you 1 minute to solve this question. Okay, now let's check the answer. Find the nth term of the sequence 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So, every number here is increased by 2. Every number here is increased by 2. So, this is aromatic sequence. How to get the end term? So finding the first term. The first term is 7. And the common difference is 9 minus 7, which is second term minus the first term. And substitute all the value a and D into the formula A plus N minus 1 D. So just substitute the value. And we have 2N plus 5. Is that correct? Good. Now proceed to the third example. Read the question carefully. The question is getting harder. An aromatic sequence has a common difference. So this is given D is equal to N. And the sixth term is equal to 52. D6 is equals to 52. So the formula for n terms is a plus n minus 1 d. So now we know that tn t6 n here is equals to 6. So substitute n with 6. And the common difference is also given. So substitute D with 10. So it is equal to 52. Then simplify the terms. A plus 6 minus 1 equals to 5. 5 times 10 is equal to 52. So the A is equals to 52 minus 50 and we have 
A is equals to 2. So now, find the 50th term. So 50th term. Using the formula n terms a plus n minus 1 t. So we have here a is given a is equals to 2. n is 15. And d is equals to 10. So we have 2 plus 14 times 10. So the answer is 2 plus 140, so which is equals to 140. The 50th term is example 4. The 11th term is 52. So, T11 is equals to 52. The 90th term is 92. The 90th term is equals to 92. Find the 1,000th term. T thousand. So we are going to find the thousand term. The problem is we don't have the first term and the common difference. So how to get the first term and the common difference? So we are using the information given in T11 and T90. The formula we are going to use is the n terms, which is Tn is equals to a plus n minus 1d. So we are going to use this formula. Okay. The first one. We are using T11 is equals to 52. So the N terms is equals to A plus N minus 1 D. The N here is equals to 11. So substitute N with 11. So we have the 11th term is equals to 52. Simplify the expression. We have a plus 10d is equals to 52. And the 90th term is a plus n minus 1 d. The n here can be replaced as 19. So which is equal to 92. So simplify the expression. We have 18 d. The first one is equation 1. The second one is equation 2. Solving simultaneously, equation 2 minus equation 1, so we have a plus 18d is equals to 92 minus with a plus 10d is equals to 52. So from here we have 8d is equals to 40. Therefore, d is equals to 5. By using d is equals to 
5 substitute into equation 1 or equation 2. So now try to substitute into equation 1. So we have a plus 10 times 5 is equals to 52. So we have a plus 50 is equals to 52. So a is equals to 52 minus 50. Bring 50 to the right hand side. Then we have a is equals to 2. Now we have the value of first term and the value of common difference. Just substitute the value a and d into the formula a plus and minus 1 to get d thousand. Cn is equals to a plus and minus 1 t with a is equals to 2, d is equals to 5, then the thousand term is equals to 2 plus 1000 minus 1 times 5, which is equals to 2 plus 999 times 5. So it is equals to 4997. Example 5. Find the number of term. So the number here means find the n. The value of n. Between 100 and 500 that are divisible by 7. First of all, list down the value that can be divisible by 7 between 100 and 500, not including 100 and 500. So the first value that can be divisible by 7 is 105. Second value is 112. The third value is 119. And the last value is 497. Clearly here, we can see that every number is decreased by 7. So this is aromatic sequence with A is equals to 105 and D is equals to 7. By using the formula Tn equals to A plus and minus 1 t, the tn is 497. 497 is equals to 105 plus n is equals to n. The D is equals to 7. Simplifying the term, 497 is equals to 105 plus 7N minus 7. So we have 7N is equals to 497 minus 105 plus 7. This is equals to 399. Therefore, n is equals to 57. So, the number between 100 and 500 that are divisible by 7 is 57. Example 6. The n term of sequence is 4n plus 5 over 12. So this is 
Tn. Tn is equals to 4n plus 5 over 12. Prove that. Prove that the sequence is aromatic. Sequence. So by using the common difference in general, it is Tn minus Tn minus 1. We need to prove that the D must be a constant. So, Tn is given as 4n plus 5 over 12. Therefore, Tn minus 1 is equals to 4 times n minus 1 plus 5 over 12. So, this the value of n here with n minus 1 into the expression. Now, substitute Tn, Tn minus 1 into our formula. So, we have 4n plus 5 over 12 minus with 4 times n minus 1 plus 5 over 12. So, it is equals to, so the denominator is equals to 12. Then we have 4n plus 5 minus with 4n minus 4 plus 15 plus 5. Sorry, plus 5. Must have bracket here. So it is equals to 4n plus 5 minus 4n plus 4 minus 5 over 12. So simplify the terms. We have 4n minus 4n, 5 minus 5. So we have 4 over 12, which is equals to 1 over 3. So this is a constant. So then, prove that this sequence is aromatic sequence. So the sequence is... Aromatic sequence. AS is aromatic sequence. Before we end up our lecture one, please do this exercise and submit to your lecturer. That's all. Thank you.